Hi guys, I'm Silverwolf and today's video is going to be about these PF Magic Trendmasters Dogs Plushies from 1997. We've got a couple of shout outs, they go to Andrea Candy and Zorro Dudes. So here are the guys, um, I call them Rocky and Hal, but they do actually have proper names. And I do actually have a box, I managed to find the box. Now I did a video on these um, dogs. Oh, it doesn't actually say what their names are. Anyway, I did um, a video on this one here 11 years ago. And it, it was quite a good video, but the quality is terrible. So I've decided that I will redo a video about them. For anyone who's interested, these were based on the old PF Magic computer games, Dogs and Cats. Um, you could also get Babies and Oddballs as well. The Dogs and Cats ones were the most popular. They ran for about five games. You had Dogs, Dogs 2, Dogs 3, etc. Um, these plushies could actually be found within the game. You would always find this one, and he makes the same noises as he made in the game as well. Uh, they are in no way related to the Dogs and Cats games and all the rest of the animal games. They were released for Nintendo DS. Um, I don't think those were even done by the same company. Um, but I'm pretty sure that Ubisoft bought out PF Magic, so the later Dogs games for the PC were made uh, by Ubisoft. I do actually have Dogs 5, it still runs on Windows 10 as well. So if you have any of the Pets 5 games um, for the PC and Windows 10, you can still run them. They will still install, it's a very small window on the computer, you can no longer maximise it, but they still work and you can still play with your pets. I don't know if the earlier games work. Um, so the games were quite popular at the time, you could make your own pets, if you knew how you could hex them, which is using um, numbers to create your own breeds of dogs, cats and all sorts of creatures. I was into hexing and I had a website about it as well. So I'll show you the box first of all that these guys came in. I keep Beanie Babies in it now, so it is full of Beanie Babies. So there's the original packaging that I got Rocky in. I think his official name was, oh there we go, Scrappy. There's, there's his official name down there, his name was Scrappy. Um, so it's just basically showing you what the pet does. Yum, listen to me eat and drink, hear how much I love to be brushed. He doesn't really sound happy to be brushed, you'll hear in a minute. Uh, hear me crunch my bone, I ta uh, take it away and I growl playfully. You can make me surprised, sleepy, happy and sad, just move my eyelids. I'm so cuddly soft. Friends forever, always together. Now these, um, I thought they were quite cute, but to be fair, they do look a little bit demented. Um, there's the side of the box. You had this, this one here, his name was Jowls, and he was a bulldog. They did five different dogs and five different cats. There's the cat ones you can see on the back there. Chi Chi the Chihuahua, that's that one. So you've got Chi Chi, Scrappy, Jowls, I'm not sure about these two. That was like a, a Scot Scottish Terrier. And he's supposed to be a beagle, I think. Your dogs come to life on your computer. Visit your software retailer for dogs and cats. Interactive computer pet software by PF Magic. And there they are. Oh, his name's Boots. Because he's sold um, online quite a lot, The um, this guy here. Um, and they always call him Jowls. His name isn't Jowls, it's Boots. I guess because his feet are a lighter colour than the rest of him. And Chip is the Scottish Terrier. And Brush, Bowl and Bone is included. And uh, that's just the same as what was on the front. So that's the uh, packaging out of the way. I thought I'd do it all in one video. So putting these guys back up here, I'll show you what they do. Now, um, you've got three accessories it came with the dogs and the cats. The cats, the cats didn't have the bone, they had like a mouse, a plastic mouse that they came with. So this one here takes two double A's and the others take button cell batteries. Well, I say this, this one is actually just a sensor because there's a pad on the back of the dog so when you stroke it, um, it makes a whining sound and the batteries for the brush are actually in here. They also have sensors in their tongues as well and you'll find out why in a minute. So I'll run you through the accessories. We'll start with the food bowl. Um, so the sensor in the tongue is so that he can eat and drink. So you just smush his face onto here and he will... I'll lift it up so you can hear it better. Uh, 
and they are also his eyelids not staying open <laughs> um they're also cross um compatible so he will also do it as well So that's the food bowl. Now the brush, obviously the thing that, that's just a sensor, the thing that controls the brush and the sound comes out of the collar here. This collar, because my one came off on, on this plush, um, I've stuck it back on since. It has a wire going through the body to the back so that when you run the brush down the dog's back, and you can also do it, of course. they're supposed to sound like they like it they sound a bit um traumatized actually maybe they don't like being brushed and finally you've got the bone now i had an issue with my bone um it wasn't really working properly i opened it up to check the soldering and then it started working so it's fine now so it's got velcro on it so you can put it in the dog's mouth Sounds like he's saying you're dead, it's a bit demonic. And then if you do this, it's like a real dog. And you can put it in his mouth as well. That's probably what broke it previously to be fair it still works it's fine so that's the bone accessory so that's all the accessories that go with these pets um they didn't release any more like different breeds but they did release a small version of them called puppy dogs which are about eight inches big so they were obviously cheaper ones i think they may have had like a feature where you could press a button on them and maybe they'd make a noise, but I've never actually seen one in real life. Um, this one I had when I was a kid. I begged my gran for him. Um, when I went to America in 1998, I saw that they had them and I wanted one so badly. Um, and then I got one for Christmas that year and it was the best thing ever. So he has been a childhood, very much beloved toy. Um, the other one I actually bought recently off eBay because I was looking for another dog. I wanted to find out if they were cross compatible to be fair, but also be I just wanted another one because they're kind of cute. Um, so there are lots of him and lots of him on eBay and also lots of um, Jowls the Bulldog as well. Uh, I haven't seen a Chi Chi or the Scottish Terrier, um, so they must be maybe a bit more rare. You also don't see the cats very often because I kind of like a cat as well, um, but that maybe that's an idea for the future. And most of them are for sale in America as well. He came from America and he cost $11, um, but I think that was a pretty good price for him and he works just fine he did have batteries in him and i had to take them out because they'd leaked a bit but he works fine so i hope you've enjoyed uh getting a bit nostalgic with these i don't know if any of you guys had them when you were younger um or if you remember them um like i said the video games were a big part of my childhood so this guy here rocky was also a big part of my childhood as well and i thought that i would share him with you once again and it's a little bit better than the one I did 11 years ago. But the one I did 11 years ago has less rambling, is more to the point. So with that being said, I will link that at the bottom of the uh, video right now. And uh, if you want to, as always, check out my Etsy and New Monday stores. If you want custom plushies um, or buy me a coffee on Ko-fi, links are all in the description and it all helps. And uh, stay safe, stay healthy and keep being awesome. This is Silver signing off.